Hello everyone, welcome to lecture number 13 of integration series. In today's lecture, I'm going to take a KVPY question which was asked in the year 2015. Now the question is, for x is any positive, a fixed real number, we have to find the value of the integration. The integration is from 0 to infinity, e raised to power minus t, mod of x minus t and we are integrating with respect to t. So the following options will be as a function of x are given, the following options are given. So those who love calculus can try this question. The following options are given. Once you get the answer, please match with the options. So let's start. Now the first thing which I observed here is this integral is a function of x. So let's say this is equal to f of x. Now the next thing is I cannot integrate unless I break this mod here. For this mod, we'll be having clearly two branches. Since they're given as x is positive real number and in a fixed real number, I can take x as 1, 2, 3, 4, any value. Now let's define the function first. So f of x is equal to integration. First, I'm going to write 0 to x. Since we are integrating with respect to t here, here t is varying from 0 to x. Now I'm going to write this as e raised to power minus t times mod of x minus t. Let, so here, how this mod is going to open here. Since t is less than x here because it's varying from 0 to x, it will open with x minus t obviously because this number will be positive and we are integrating with respect to t here. Next integral will be x to infinity obviously and we'll get e raised to power minus t. Now since t is varying from x to infinity, so it will open with t minus x because this time this will be positive and dt here. Now I'm going to first open this. I'm going to take x outside because since we are integrating with respect to t here, I can take x outside of the integral. Once I multiply e raised to power minus t. So f of x, I can write this as, here we'll get this as x integration 0 to x e raised to power minus t and dt here. Now the next integral will be minus times t e raised to power minus t and integration from 0 to x as it is dt. Plus, now again I'm going to multiply e raised to power minus t inside, so I'll get this as integration x to infinity, t e raised to power minus t, and here we'll get this as next one as, sorry I forgot to write dt, minus times, uh, you'll get this as x integration x to infinity, and we'll get this as e raised to power minus t dt here. Now, I'm going to apply limits here. Why limits? Because in integration I can see variable limits. So I'm going to differentiate f of x. For that, I'm going to use Leibniz here. So f dash of x will be equal to here. Since uh, x and this function is multiplied, so I have to use here product rule. So first, I'm going to differentiate x. The differentiation is 1. So obviously, I'll get this as integration 0 to x, e raised to power minus t here, and dt minus times. Again, I'm going to use Leibniz here. Now before that, for the first integral, I have to here Make sure I have to apply here product rule. So I have differentiated x. Now I'm going to differentiate this integral. That is uh, plus times x times e raised to power minus x here. Because for the lower limit, when I differentiate, I have to differentiate the lower limit and it will be equal to 0. So that I'm not writing. Next, I'm going to differentiate this. Sorry. So if I differentiate this, I'll get this as minus times. If you put the upper limit here, you'll get this as x e raised to power minus x and differentiation of x is 1 here. Now for the lower limit, obviously it will be equal to 0. Now the next thing is, I'm going to differentiate this one. So for infinity, uh, it will be 0. For x, I have to put upper limit here. So minus times x e raised to power minus x here. And differentiation of x is obviously 1. Now again, I'm going to apply product rule in this two terms. Okay, so first let's differentiate x. The differentiation is 1 and we'll get this as minus times integration x to infinity uh, e raised to power minus t dt and the next I'm going to differentiate this one using Leibniz integral. So for infinity minus times x for infinity we'll get 0 and for x we'll get minus e raised to power minus x here. Now uh, let's simplify this because we have many terms here. So let's draw a line. Okay. Now f dash of x will be equal to, see here x e raised to power minus x will cancel out with minus times x e raised to power minus x. Similarly, one more term is minus times x e raised to power minus x will cancel out with plus times x e raised to power minus x here. So we'll be left with two terms here. The two terms are integration from 0 to x e raised to power minus t dt 
and one more term is minus times integration x to infinity e raised to power minus t dt here. Now I'm going to simplify this in the next slide. Now to calculate f of x, first we need to simplify f dash of x. For that we need to evaluate these two integrals and th this is very easy to integrate. Now f dash of x will be equal to integration of e raised to power minus t minus e raised to power minus t. Okay, and the lower limit is 0, upper limit is x here. Similarly, if we integrate e raised to power minus t here, one additional negative will come. This will cancel out this negative and it will become positive here. And we'll get this as e raised to power minus t here. Lower limit is x, upper limit is infinity here. Now once we simplify this, we'll get f dash of x is, uh, let's put the limits. So we'll, we put the upper limit here, we'll get e raised to power minus x. When we put the lower limit, e raised to power 0 is 1, so minus 1. Plus, when we put infinity here, we'll get this as 1 upon e raised to power infinity. Minus, when we put x here, we'll get e raised to power minus x here. Okay, so let's simplify this. Notice one thing here is, when we put infinity here, e raised to power infinity, e raised to power infinity is again infinity and 1 upon infinity will give you 0. Now if you simplify f dash of x, we are left with very few terms. So minus or minus will give you plus 1 and minus e raised to power of minus x and minus e raised to power minus x will give you minus twice e raised to power minus x here. Since my motive is to calculate f of x, I'm going to integrate because we have f dash of x, I'm going to integrate on both sides. Okay, so we'll get this as f of x is integration of 1 is x minus times integration of minus e raised to power x is minus or minus plus 2 e raised to power minus x. Since this integration is indefinite, so a constant of integration will come, so plus c. Now, this is our function. Now, the whole objective is to calculate the value of c here, the cons constant of integration. Now, there is no initial condition is given here in this question. So feel free to pause at this moment and try to simplify okay, for c here. Once we get the c, we'll get the function. Now in the next line, I'm going to solve for c here. Since no initial condition is given from their side, so what we're going to do is in order to calculate this constant of integration, we're going to create the initial condition from our end. So let's say x is equal to 0. And from here, we're going to calculate f of 0. That will be a definite value. Once we calculate this, we'll get the c. Because our sole objective is to calculate this function. Once we get the c, our objective will be completed. So we have integration from 0 to infinity. Now instead of x, I'm going to put this as mod of 0 minus t here. Now mod of 0 minus t will immediately will give you the value e raised to power minus t and we'll get t times outside and dt here. Now we have to evaluate this integral. Now it's very easy to evaluate this integral because we can do it by integration by parts or you can say uv rule. So let's say this is our first function and this is our second function here. So I'm applying integration by parts. So we'll have f of 0 as first function into integration of second. So integration of second is negative times e raised to power minus t. Lower limit is 0, upper limit is infinity. Now minus times we have integration from 0 to infinity. Differentiation of first function is 1 because we are differentiating with respect to t. Now again if I integrate the second function, I'll get minus or minus plus e raised to power minus t here and then dt here. Now we have f of 0 as equal to, if I want to put infinity here as an upper limit, then if you observe one more thing that is, this function is t e raised to power minus t. Now I can write this as t e raised to t by e raised to power t here. Now if I want to put infinity here, it is going to take an indeterminate form that is infinity by infinity. That means I have to apply limit here in order to calculate the value when t tending towards infinity. Now, since it's in indeterminate form of infinity by infinity, I can apply here Loppet rule. That means differentiation of numerator and denominator separately with respect to t. The moment I do this, t tending towards infinity, I'll get this as 1 upon e raised to power t here. And then when t tending towards infinity, this will give you automatically 0. So when we calculate at infinity, this will give you minus times. When we put infinity here, this will give you a value 0. And when you put 0 here, you'll get 0 automatically. Now, for the second integral, it's very easy to integrate. So, integration is minus e raised to power minus t. Lower limit is infinite 0 and upper limit is infinity. So, let me erase this part. Now, uh, I'm going to integrate the second. We have done the integration of second integral. And I'm going to evaluate the value here. So, f of 0 will be equal to this is 0. 
now we have minus times let's put the upper limit here so we'll get 1 upon e raised to power infinity and for the lower limit i'll get e raised to power 0 that is 1 here so this will be equal to 1 upon e raised to power infinity we have seen earlier that is equal to 0 so minus or minus we have plus 1 here now we got f of 0 here we got f of 0 as 1 now we're going to plug the same value here so let's put x is equal to 0 here and we'll get 0 f of 0 as value as 0 plus 2 e raised to power 0 plus c here now i'm going to equate the value this is equal to 1 from here i can say c is equal to minus 1 because e raised to power 0 is 1 c will be equal to 1 minus 2 that is minus 1 so from here i can say f of x will be equal to x plus 2 e raised to power x minus x and minus 1 so this gives you the option let's check the option which one is correct here now our option matches with the first option clearly visible it's any a option to so those who got the right answer congratulations you have cracked this problem and this will be the, our final answer and that will be all